nerd. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So guys, today I just woke up like this. Yeah, completely messed up. Uh, my voice, my throat is my throat is hurting. Sorry. It's just for you to know that in the rest of the video I'll be speaking like some death row inmate because I'm completely messed up. Okay, so that's all. <coughs> Fuck. And before going into the release notes and any other things, I just I just want to tell you that for me, at least for me, the 23.4.1 drivers, so these drivers are the best ones of 2023 and maybe even possible possibly the best ones since november okay for me and i repeat for me these drivers are great work wonderfully but we'll deep dive into that after the release notes in the part where i usually tell you my experiences and the good points and bad points of the drivers also these drivers are once again whql signed and recommended so uh, the best like the past four or five driver versions from AMD have all been recommended and WHQL signed, which is great. So Microsoft kind of approves these drivers and they are also recommended by AMD, meaning that the drivers are actually working to the point of AMD recommending them uh, for the majority of users, okay? So yeah. As for the release notes, we have highlights with support for Meteor Maker and game optimizations for The Last of Us Part 1. Now, uh, as for the this driver, I actually had the, the optimizations on the previous special driver, the previous internal driver, which already brought these, or at least a part of these optimizations for The Last of Us, um, that, I, that you can see in this video passing right now on the screen. But at least now you have those, or, it, or even more optimizations at least, I will show you later, even more optimizations for The Last of Us uh, in this particular official driver. As for the fixed issues, we also have some important ones, with the first one being video playback in browsers using hardware acceleration may appear blurry on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 7900 XT. And this was a problem that some users reported uh, with the videos being blurred somehow. Uh, I never had such issue, but some users did have that issue and it seems to be fixed by now on these drivers. If the issue is actually fixed for you, leave a comment in the comment section. Mouse cursor may appear invisible in Citrix workspace, also a nice, a nice addition to the fixed list, and performance metrics overlay may intermittently disappear when playing full screen videos from Steam. So another thing um, that is now working properly with the performance metrics overlay working uh, in full screen videos on Steam. Although I don't see why it should be appearing in the first place, but well, you know what you do. I'm, I'm not your master. I do not own you. As for the known issues, we start with high idle power has situationally been observed when using select high resolution and high refresh rate displays on Radeon RX 7000 series GPUs. And once again, um, well, I never had this issue. Uh, on the first drivers, I was actually having like 50, 45, 50 watts idle, which is a bit high, but nothing like some users that have like 80, 90, 100, 120 watts in idle that's just insane on the other hand for me in these drivers at least the power draw idle and video playback is actually even better than before but we'll go into that once again after the release notes some virtual reality games or apps may experience lower than expected performance on Radeon RX 7000 series GPUs another issue with the RDNA 3 architecture so far that I hope is fixed as soon as possible because AMD is actually losing people uh, due to these bug on VR, so that's annoying as hell. Brief display corruption may occur when switching between video and game windows on AMD graphics on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6700 XT still happening. Water corruption in Hogwarts Legacy may occur on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 580. And the last one is blocky water corruption in Red Dead Redemption 2 may occur when using Vulkan API. So once again, uh, the blocky water seems to be an issue uh, from the previous driver and above. So 
These drivers, the 23.4.1 and the 23.3.2 have this issue. If you go, for example, for the 23.3.1, you do not have this issue as the blocky, uh, the blocky textures or the blocky water effects, doesn't really matter, uh, aren't happening. So if you are having these issues and you don't want to, to have these issues, uh, you can switch to DirectX 12 or you can simply go back to the 23.3.1 drivers. And as for the important notes, factory reset has been temporarily disabled as precautionary measure while we address isolated installation issues that have been reported during PC upgrades. Users may use AMD cleanup utility as a temporary option and this is a thing happening since the 23.3.1 driver so they're still trying to fix it. Although I have no issues and I always use DDU and if you don't know how to correctly install and uninstall drivers, watch this video I made uh, because it will kind of enlighten you. So, you're welcome. Now, as for my experience with these drivers, we actually have way, way better things than bad things, okay? So, way more good things than bad things. And uh, the first one is actually we have more FPS on the RX 7900 XTX. And you may think it is more FPS just on The Last of Us since we actually have optimizations for The Last of Us, but no, I actually tested some other games and in this video I have included The Last of Us and Resident Evil 4 Remake and both games present higher performance. Not that much, but it's still higher performance um, with the 7900 XTX, okay? And on top of that, I actually noticed that both the CPU and GPU temperatures were usually lower, even with the same or higher FPS, were usually lower on the newer drivers compared to the 22.3 to the 23.3.2, to the so the 23.4.1 drivers usually, at least on my 7900XTX and the 7700X as a CPU, they actually have lower, usually have lower temperatures on both CPU and GPU. But well, did this performance increase actually matter? Uh, did the decrease in temperatures actually matter as well? Let's watch. How far could he have gone? So as you saw, things are quite better than the 22.3.2 drivers, where we actually have way more fixed issues and we have more overall performance with uh, usually lower temperatures, both on CPU and GPU, which is a great thing. And we also have some interesting things, because we also, at least in my case, I, I actually have lower idle power, lower idle power and lower video playback power. So the idle power went from, let's say, 14 to 16 watts, usually on full idle, with nothing moving the, cur the cursor just there. And now it is constantly and very stabilized at 12 watts. Okay, I, I know it doesn't really make a difference. I'm just saying that it is lower now. And as for the video playback power draw, we also have some interesting decreases in terms of, once again, power draw. Uh, as we actually went from, let's say, 45, from 45 to 50 watts of video playback power draw to 38 watts. So up to 12 watts decrease in terms of video playback. And, and once again, 12 watts make no difference. But it is, it is just good to know that the power draw is just 
going down time after time uh, and that's a good thing means that they are actually tweaking the power tables uh, the core boost and so on with the newer drivers uh, in order to make these consume less power while doing uh, very light tasks and that's that's very nice actually so from 45 50 watts to 30 to 38 watts on video playback which is once again very nice and in terms of your overclocking profiles, they're actually better, at least, once again, for my 7900XTX, it seems to be much, much more stable. And I'm not the only one, as I got some comments before, even I even before I released this video with people telling me that their system was also way more stable with the 23.4.1 drivers than the previous one so that's not just me it's a thing happening and these drivers are very very good but what about the RX 6000 series how do they perform uh... <coughs> it's me Austin oh son of a bitch what it's me Austin it was me all along Austin how do they perform with these newer drivers? Do they perform well? Uh, do they not perform good? Well, let's start with a lower, or at least let's test a lower to mid-tier card like the, the RX 6650 XT, we're gonna test it, Last of Us, and Fortnite as well using Unreal Engine 5.1 or 5.2 and Nanite, Lumen and so on. Let's watch. What are you doing in here? And well, as you saw with this build with my RX 6650 XT, the performance is basically the same in Fortnite, basically and equally the same, while in The Last of Us it is a mixed bag. In most scenarios it will be the same performance, but in some others, if you look for example by the end of the comparison when you enter the room the newer drivers have even better performance than the special drivers for The Last of Us that already had some optimizations, meaning that they brought more optimizations on top of that special driver. So if you're, if you're using that special driver, maybe you're better using the 23.4.1 as they're even better than those special drivers. So they bring more optimizations, at least I believe so. Uh, as in some scenarios, it actually works better than those previous drivers and much better than the 233 3.2 so yeah for me these drivers are the way to go my opinion just install them always do a clean installation like i say in all my videos use this video once again if you want to know how to do it properly thanks amd i hope you fix some more issues because we need them uh we need those vr issues to be fixed asap and we absolutely need the idle power issue to be fixed ASAP as well because these two things alone have been making people uh, sending back their AMD GPUs and getting things like the RTX 4080 uh, and some others due to those two issues okay people can take all of the other things but those two issues are actually some deal breakers for most people uh, by the way if you want to watch I made a comparison uh, yesterday I released it yesterday of the RTX 4080 versus the RX 7900 XT versus the RX 7900 XTX lay an eye on it if you can and if you go from this video to the other leave a comment in the other video telling me that you're watching that video because you watched this one first just want to know thanks a lot for watching uh, hope I get better uh, to release more videos for you guys and thanks a lot for the support see you in the next one